Hi everyone, my name is Dipesh and today let's discuss about row level security. So what is row level security? It's a feature in Power BI that can be used to restrict the data access for a given user. So with the help of an example, let's try to understand how to define roles and rules in Power BI Desktop, how to validate the roles in Power BI Desktop, how to manage security in the model, how to add members to the role, and how to validate the role within the PBI service. Now let's quickly jump into PBX file and get started. Before we start creating the roles in Power BI, let's have a quick glance of the data which we'll be using. This data is related to employee cost and it's a confidential information. And as you can see here, we have the employee name, employee ID, team, tenure, and cost to company. So using this data, we'll create various roles. And we'll create four roles. So if I go to the next sheet here, you can see we'll create a director role data engineering manager role, visualization manager role, and machine learning manager role. The director role will have access to the, all the data of the teams, whereas the manager role will have access to the data set of their team only. So the uh, data engineering manager will have access to the information of his team. Same with the visualization manager role. And machine learning manager will have access to the data of his team only. Having said that, let's quickly jump into PBI and then create the various roles and then later publish into the model and then perform various other steps. Here is the PBX file and we have loaded the data into the model. Now let's go ahead and create the roles. So under the ribbon, click on modeling and then click on manage roles. So this will open up a new window and now click on create. So let's create our first role that is director role. So director role will have access to all the data, all the rows. So we are not applying any filter. And now let's create one more role. That is ML manager role. So the ML manager should have access to the data set or rows of his team only. So let's add a filter here. Team equal to team machine learning and now let's create another role for data engineering manager and so data engineer manager role and we need to restrict the data only to the data engineering team so i'll click on add filter team equal to data engineering and now let's create our final role so visualization manager role so we need to limit the data only to visualization team and now so we have all the roles created. And now click on save. Now let's go to the next step. So we need to perform or check if the roles which we have created is working properly or not, right? So what I'm gonna do is click on view has. So now we'll see how this role will appear for the user. For the director, there should not be any are restrictions to the rows, right? So let's click on uh, director role and then click OK, let's see. So as a director, they should be able to see the data, the complete data. So you can see here at the top, now viewing as a director role. Now let's check as a machine learning manager role. Click on OK. So now the machine learning manager will be able to access the data or see the data pertaining to this team, that is machine learning team. So it's working as expected. And now let's check the uh, data engineer manager role, click on OK. You should be able to see the data of his team only. So it's working now. And the last one is visualization manager role view has. VL manager role. So let's give it a couple of seconds. Yes, it's working. 
So whatever roles we have created is working as expected. So now as a next step, let's go ahead and publish this file to the service and then do some more settings in the service. So now publishing of the file to the service is successful. And now let's go ahead and make a few more changes to the settings in the PBA service. This is our workspace and you should be able to see the report which we just published. So we have the report and the data set. When you hover over this data set, you should be able to see three little dots. Click on these dots and it will open up a new window. And here, click on security. And now again, it will open up a window. And here you should be able to see all the four roles which we just created. So to add a user to this role, what you need to do is select that role and then enter the email address and click on add. Once you add the role or the user, you should be able to see the count of the user and the next to the role. So MLMGR role, you can see the count as one. And then when you hover over this role, you should be able to see three dots again. Click on this and then you can see an option as test as role. Click on this test as role. This will open up a new window and you should be able to see something like this. And it says now viewing as ML manager role. So now if you provide access to the user with the ML manager role, they should be able to see only the data pertaining to the machine learning team. Similarly, we can do the same test for the other user roles as well. There are certain limitations to the role level security, like it only supports import and direct query, and it does not support live connection to the analysis service, etc. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or doubts, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm going to revert back to you. And thanks for watching.